Part 10, Choosing Skincare Products. Excellent skincare ingredients and well-formulated products can help improve the appearance and texture of your skin at any time of your life. It's important to choose the correct products, whether your client is fighting breakouts or trying to regain a more youthful complexion or a healthier appearance. That's where a competent skincare coach provides great value. Skincare is personal. Your client's beauty choices tend to be extremely personal, whether their choices include tried and true kind of old school skincare brands, or they're um, limited to a skincare regime that is um, kind of hit and miss. You have to be sensitive about what they're using in all of your conversations. And remember, they made the choice. They spent the money. Their friends might have recommended something or someone at the beauty counter convince them to buy. And that means they're emotionally and sometimes financially invested in those products to one degree or another. So be sensitive. Also, love what you recommend. As a skincare coach, we're going to assume that you're only going to recommend something that you genuinely love and believe in. That means you're truly invested in that product from a trust standpoint. We'll also assume you've thoroughly researched the ingredients and the products and that you'll recommend only things that you believe in and that you've done the same to your products that your clients are going to be using now and in the future. Um, you have to make sure that you're learning about things that you come across during skincare coaching assignments. So you're going to have to research specific products, ingredients, or brands that you know and some that you don't that aren't on your recommended recommended list. You're going to have to keep an open mind and be sensitive to the client's vested interest in that product. This isn't always easy to do, but it is your responsibility. That isn't to say that you're not going to com be completely honest if the ingredients or products aren't what you think the client should be using. Uh, suggestions and recommendations from a certified skincare coach are what the client is seek actually seeking from the coaching engagement. We're just reminding you to understand the client's choices and keep an open mind as you analyze and recommend products. What's your client's end goal? What are the reasons they're looking for these products? Uh, what are their goals? Well, to begin any product conversation with the client's desired results in mind is smart. Do you want to fade dark spots, minimize fine lines, protect against sun damage? Um, that will give you a start on which products you're going to look at and look for. When you make suggestions, clients are going to ask you why you picked one product over another. So do your homework. Make sure you can answer all of their questions and that you're able to back up your answers with facts and data. Most importantly, make sure that the results they're looking for are in line with the antioxidant ingredients or other ingredients in the products that you're recommending. Let's start, you know, really looking at how you can recommend um, products with antioxidants, for example, to reduce free radical damage. Of course, there are countless skincare products that contain one or more antioxidants on the market today, and they're extremely common and enormously popular. In fact, if you've already used skincare products, your current skincare regime probably uh, already has or contains at least one product with antioxidant ingredients. Sometimes there are so many choices that it you know, actually becomes a bit overwhelming for clients to navigate, and that's why they come to you. They need antioxidant suggestions. So um, they're gonna ask their skincare coach, if you understand that the clients will feel overwhelmed look at all the, the choices that there are, then you can you know, actually become familiar with the most common brands that are on the market particularly the antioxidant ingredients that they have as a primary feature, it's uh, wise to suggest really great antioxidant products to your clients. That's a given. But these aren't always the least expensive at the drugstore. Uh, for example, the drugstore brands that they might be using um, aren't necessarily the best, nor are they the worst. This is where an open mind comes in. The high-end brands are the same. Some of them are great, some of them not so much. Um, 
It's certainly guaranteed that your clients will ask you for a few products or ingredient suggestions um, in all price ranges. After all, it's one of the reasons they're coming to a skincare coach. Um, let's talk about multi antioxidants or multiple antioxidants. They do pack a powerful uh, punch if you layer them. And sometimes it's best to look for a product that contains multiple antioxidant ingredients for that one, two punch or three, four punch. Studies suggest that combining various antioxidants can actually enhance the efficacy of all the antioxidants in the product. Therefore, skincare products containing several different antioxidants are highly desirable. Now let's talk about antioxidant experimentation. Antioxidants work differently on different people at different humidity levels and in different environments. Just think about it like this. If you're in a big city, there are more pollutants in the air and therefore more free radicals. This logically would mean that you would typically need to use a higher strength or multiple antioxidant skincare ingredients in your products or you would choose to layer products containing different potencies of antioxidants for this particular environment. On the other hand, if you were in the country or in a cleaner environment, this might not be the case. You could use a product with less antioxidant potency. And there's Alley Cat. <laughs> That's why it's important to tell your clients to experiment with different products until they find one that works best for you and that they like. Well, why should they like it? Because studies show that if clients like how the products feel and smell on their skin, their skin habits are more consistent with antioxidants and consistently breed better results. Now we're gonna have Alley Cat sitting here for a little bit of a while. We'll just let her be part of the video. Now let's talk about skincare experience. Products and feel and smell are very important. Um, in fact, experienced skincare coaches will tell you that the brand name isn't as important as how the product feels or smells on their client's skin. If they like the way it feels, clients will be much more likely to use it regularly. Uh, so doing so will give them a much better result because the products and the ingredients like antioxidants and retinol will be more effective over the long haul and will um, actually they'll actually make it to their their skin turnover times um, of the three to six turnover cycles that you really want um, this is really important because if they like the feel and like the smell of a product they're going to use it more consistently. And that skin turnover cycle is going to be that much more packed with the results and the goals that they want. The feel of the product and the smell and the experience means that you need to emphasize that your clients will positively use them consistently and they need to do so for a few more months in order to get the type of results that they want to achieve. Remember to emphasize that each cycle of the skin's renewal is between 25 and 48 days, which means that three cycles equates to three to five months. Um, and larger cycles can take the client through six to 10 months. Age appropriate products are something that you're going to talk to your client about. Make sure that the skincare ingredients and in the products that you're recommending are age appropriate. This might not seem like a big deal, but it really is. As an example, people who are under 30 would typically use a good strength retinol product two or three times a week at most. In the next decade, that would increase for that same product to three to four times a week and more frequently for mature uh, skins who can actually tolerate it. They might actually need that boost and that stimulation that retinol in and, and that potency provides. When you suggest these things, um, the, 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 the clients will ultimately going to choose uh, what's great for them and also dependent on the condition of their skin when you start any coaching assignment. When you start the coaching uh, program, besides working on their coaching assignment goals, let them know that your first goal is to get their skin into great condition. The, sex, the second is to get it into fabulous condition. And that means 
that um, a series of steps and different products might be the ticket to get them to their skincare destination over the long haul. Um, products can be applied at various layers of the skin. Different products have different molecular structures, which means that they penetrate the layers of the skin differently. Your client has to understand that part of skincare coaching education is making sure that they understand how important it is to target the entire process of cellular turnover and rejuvenation. You should recommend products and ingredients that take all of the layers of the skin and its functions into account. Moisturizers, lotions, and some serums are designed to sit on the skin and minimally pre um, penetrate the epidermis, whereas a significant number of high quality serums are designed to penetrate at a much deeper level. And therefore it makes sense to use a combination of products complain, uh, that actually contain different elements, different ingredients, different potencies to target various type, types of skin cells at the various layers or levels of the skin. You might, for example, apply an antioxidant rich vitamin C night cream with a vitamin A boosting serum at bedtime, they attack different levels. And you might decide to use a protective daily serum layering with a retinol serum two or three times a week and hydrating with a day cream containing a rich blend of essential oils and hyaluronic acid. This is layering. 